Hi, in this video I'm going to briefly discuss about the distribution. So we learned this concept of distribution in 2060, but a lot of you still are kind of fuzzy about what that really is, okay? Um, especially how do you convert a bunch of numbers into distribution, and what are you going to use distribution for? So um, here is a website I'm going to utilize to demonstrate this concept. I could have done this using Excel, but that will take a lot of steps. You may get lost, okay? So I'm going to use this website um, uh, because it can help us to focus on the concept rather than technique. So to the left-hand side of the uh, screen, you will see a lot of information here. Um, the, the top half of the screen shows the information about the data set, okay? So I'm going to pick this data set right here, New York Airbnb prices. So as you can see, uh, here is a bunch of data. I don't know exactly um, how many data points are here. So as little as $10 all the way to $1,000. I think at one point they may have collected all the Airbnb listings and their pricing and then and then they gather those data and put it here. So um, as you can see, there are two $10 uh, one eleven dollar, one twelve dollar, and so forth. Uh, as you browse through this data set, you can see a lot of data are sixty five. Okay, that's so, that's something you can get immediately. There are a lot of eighty eight, two eighty nine, and all the way to one thousand. So, so imagine that you give this piece of data to your supervisor or manager, trying to communicate something. Um, it probably won't be a good idea to give the data as is. So what people usually do is they will convert it into a shape, a visualization of this data uh, based on their frequency. So uh, to the right hand side of the screen, you are seeing something called a histogram. I'm going to uh, click this box plot, uh, check this box class. I'm going to remove the box plot because this is not uh, where interested at this point. So to the right hand side of the screen, you see that this guy right here, uh, this area of the screen, converted all these data automatically into visualized visualization. So this shape you are seeing is what we call as distribution. So what is a distribution? Distribution is nothing but a shape of your data. So what you can tell based on the distribution, right? You can tell where your data, where where is the most dense densely concentrated area, right? Uh, in other words, what data points may have occurred the most frequently in your data? What are some data that are there but are not very frequent? So as you can see from in this way of visualizing it, you can tell, hey, the most frequent data group in my data is the pricing between $50 to $149, okay? Although I occasionally see $1,000 or more listings, but these are relatively rare, when you compare to this particular group, okay? So that is one very uh, important piece of information we can get from the histogram. So I'm just gonna show you one more thing before I close. So what this does, it's going to adjust the bin width for the histogram. So each bin here is very wide. So here you, the range it covers is pretty wide from 50 to 149 it's 100. The difference is 100. So um, you can't quite tell whether you have uh, less than 100 more or more than 100 more because because both range are included in this particular uh, bin. So what you can what you can do is you can reduce the bin width by 50. Okay, as you can see, as I adjust this, okay, our distribution changes slightly but the fundamental story w uh, did not change much okay so this is still the most concentrated area uh, the rare uh, more scarce price listing are still here it's just the shape look um, little it, it looks it, it gives you m more rich information than the previous one so you can in increase it to 300 this probably won't be very much useful right so you need to find a proper a range in order to get the most out of your data. So this is what distribution is.
okay this is what distribution is and then uh, based on this you can tell about the probability uh, how do you do that I'm going to explain that in the video uh, comes next okay so maybe at this point you might also asking hey the distribution I saw from my 2060 class is a bunch of curves why this is not a curve so the curve is actually a very theoretical uh, s stuff okay so what you can do here is you can draw a curve here I don't see any option here can help me uh, draw a curve but you can actually do that okay so you can what you can do is you can approximately draw a curve here um, like that that will become the curve you saw in 2060 class okay so bunch of number turn it into distribution distribution in the form of histogram distribution in the form of a curve okay so this is this is the key information from this short video uh, welcome to take a look at yourself and of course you can always do this step using Excel but uh, I'll leave it to some other time